any other questions? Or was that a hand raised, Sister Barbara? <laughs> oh, okay, okay, might as well, right? Okay, what is, what is your question? Correct. So who are the oh, okay then. So the, the, the bridesmaids are referring to tribulation saints. We're going to look at Matthew chapter 25. Matthew 25. Wow, easy question. <laughs> Some people are going, that ain't easy. <laughs> you might say, why would, why would Sister Barbara call that easy? The reason why is that's the blessing of being a Bible believer, is that you know that much. We're very spoiled. We're very spoiled. Once you study and learn, you'd be surprised how much you know. All right. Now, first, let's prove two cases here. <clears throat> we know that the bride of Christ is referring to the church. Now, a lot of people don't get that. There are some hyper-dispensationalists who do not get that either, which is extremely sad and shameful. So... If you truly are a dispensationalist, you've got to realize this. The church is the bride of Christ. Now, to prove this will be based off of the book of Ephesians. So I'm not going to get all over that. <clears throat> but Ephesians chapter 5 proves that the bride of Christ is the church. Now, there's going to be a thing called the weddings, the marriage supper of the Lamb. The marriage supper of the Lamb. In the marriage supper of the Lamb... You are the bride that's going to get married to Jesus Christ. But what you're going to notice right here is that it's not just the bride and the groom. There are virgins following. Like, remember, in weddings, wedding ceremonies, you notice that you'll see uh, the bridesmaids, the virgins, following along. And then, you know, the bride tosses the flower back, and then the lucky virgin picks it up so that she can uh, meet her husband next time. So where does all this come from? You've got to realize that the Bible already showed you way ahead concerning about this. These virgins, what you're going to notice right here is that they are not married to Jesus Christ. Instead, they are bridesmaids trying to help out in the wedding. Now, who are these bridesmaids? These are tribulation saints. So the church saints, so we see the church is the bride. Now let's make it more specific so you can get it. Church age saints. So these are saints in the church age. Whereas saints in the tribulation, they're going to be the bridesmaids. They are the virgins. Now look at Matthew chapter 25. This is where we get the parable of the ten virgins. This is where you get your uh, rapture that's conditional. It's not an unconditional rapture. Christian church, they go up to be in heaven with Jesus Christ no matter what. Now I'm not going to get to all those verses, but that's based off of 1 Thessalonians uh, chapter 4. Proves that anyone that is in Jesus Christ, who believed on Christ they get rapture. So that's the only condition is you believed on Christ. It has nothing to do with your works. But in Matthew 25, you're going to notice it does depend upon your work. <clears throat> Verse 1, Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. See, through careful work, they made sure to maintain their oil in their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us in you, but go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Afterward came also the other virgin, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Watch ye therefore, watch therefore, for ye neither, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. See, there's a famous rapture verse used by Tim LaHaye and many other people. But they don't know that that verse is referring to a second advent or to a tribulation rapture. 
So you gotta understand this, is that I'm not gonna prove pre-trib rapture here, okay? We're talking about tribulation saints, the bridesmaid. Church age saints, they have their own rapture. Tribulation saints, they have their own rapture as well. So we see one before the tribulation, and we see one sometime after the tribulation. Because sometime after the tribulation, they're going to join this marriage right there. The bride, she's going through a cleaning process here. She's getting herself prepared, which is why she's not down there at the tribulation. This is based off, uh, I don't have those, I'm not going to turn to those verses for time's sake. That's proven at 1 Corinthians chapter 3, Ephesians chapter 5, and Revelation chapter 19. Whereas the tribulation saints, you're going to notice right here that they go up and then they join. We're going to look at Revelation chapter, Revelation chapter, I think, 14 or 15. <coughs> Excuse me. Revelation chapter 14, please. Revelation chapter 14. Now look at this. Notice these virgins up in heaven. Revelation chapter 14, verse 3. And they sung, as it were, a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the 144,000 which were redeemed from the earth. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are what? Virgins. Wow, look at that. Now look at Revelation 19. Revelation 19. Revelation chapter 19. And we will read verse 7. Revelation chapter 19. And we will read verse 7. Notice the Bible says, let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the what? Marriage of the Lamb has come and his wife hath made herself ready. See, she was being readied all that time. She was being ready all that time. The tribulation saints had something different. Verse 8, and to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, for the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. Now look at this, verse 9, and he saith unto me, Right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. Now look at this. It's not just the wife and Jesus. Verse 9, there's an invitation out for these people to join. Why, if it's not church age saints, because she's the wife of Jesus Christ, who else is it? It's the tribulation saints. How do you know that, Pastor? We saw Matthew 25. These people are going up. But you notice there are other people who could not get inside the wedding, right? What did the bridegroom say? I know you not. That's very telling. That proves there's a different salvation there. Why? Because the bridegroom told those uh, virgins, I don't know you. I never knew you. Look at Matthew chapter 7 in your spare time. What does it say about people who call out, Lord, Lord, Lord? Have not we prophesied in thy name? And Jesus said, I never knew you. Depart from me. So this proves right here there's a different salvation. So based off of Matthew chapter 25 and Revelation chapter 19, as well as chapter 14, we can see right here a different group of people. So these are the bridesmaids, the bridesmaids right here. They are called. If you don't believe there is such a thing as a different group of people outside the bride of Jesus who are in the marriage supper, you got a problem with John the Baptist. You know what John the Baptist said at the book of John? He said at John chapter 3 that I'm only the friend of the bridegroom, not the bride. How about that? See? So there are different types of saints. Dispensationalism is very crux in doctrine. It shows there are different kinds of people. There are different time periods and different verses applying to different people, different time periods. Dispensationalism is crux to connect all the pieces together and it makes perfect sense.